And hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. With a whole bunch of mods and shenanigans. Uh, now, uh, full disclosure, <laughs> uh, in the previous episode I did try to remap my controls. Uh, which caused, uh, caused a bit of a problem because I thought I had connected uh, Shark 3 from my PlayStation 3 and I apparently hadn't so things kind of broke and I couldn't get out of that screen so... I had to alt tab, oh, well, alt F4 out of the game and yeah, play through it again. So I will have a different amount of money and experience points up to this point um, for anyone who is careful about that kind of a thing. Um, yeah, so I have me and I have Mr. Barrett, and now. Uh, the plan was to use my controller for, you know, navigating through the menu. Uh, however, there's a slight problem in that it's uh, the... Well, I'm using my PlayStation 4 controller, by the way. And it turns out that uh, the uh, face buttons, the, the D-pad... Oh, yeah, it's the, the D-pad, I guess, not the face buttons. Anyway, the D-pad isn't working, so... I mean, it doesn't do anything. I have to use the analog stick or the arrow keys on the new keypad. It's gonna be fun. Ish. The way I have set up my uh, options a slight tiny bit, so the uh, the colors in the uh, text boxes should be slightly different. I do like the uh, blue, standard blue actually, so I can never change them. So I also have quite a number of things to say about the game, and we'll get there as we go. By which I mean to say I have more to say than I have already said, and I know I have said plenty already. Anyway, let's for now be responsible adults and blow shit up, shall we? I appreciate the retranslation here. A metric ton. Really make sense to me, but whatever you say. So. Oh, the gun. Start out in style, already a boss fight. Wait, no, uh. Let's do it. Okay, if I get the chance to move with the foul before attack, I will have to defend. Good. That, that is how you limit break. Jesus. On a bike. No. This game was not designed for analog sticks. Just pointing that out. Something's a little weird. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I 
Uh, okay, they corrected that. <laughs> you know, the first time I played uh, along with so many others, I thought uh, Cloud instructed us to actually attack at this point. Like, that would be a good thing. I was hurt. Guess it was hurt. Next, huh? Oh, I did not mean to do that. Just stupid animal stick. Ow. Big shot in return. Oop. First games I played was Sonic on the uh, uh, Mega Drive. You know, those water levels and uh, how Sonic just kept uh, drowning. Well, that was pretty dramatic, man. <laughs> uh, and uh, of course, uh, you had a time limit to get past all the stages as well. Just bad times. <laughs> <laughs> Very bad times. I'm um, I'm a little more okay about timers now, but <laughs> Sonic left the mark, you know. Sonic really left the mark. <laughs> okay. The uh, quicker death animations uh, will help uh, cut down on uh, time spent running back and forth. Let's not forget about Jesse. Yeah, I'm hoping the uh, remake will do that differently. I mean, when she jumps like that, it, it is uh, just, just. It is really marks how close this game is to the uh, uh, sprite, um, to the sprite games, uh, sprite based games uh, of the past. I mean, it, you know, how you anim animated on the sprite just in the movie. Making the sprites just hop around ir irrespective of uh, how characters would realistically move about uh, the location they are presently at. Um, War Talon is still a thing with me. Hey, rude. I'll be rude right back. Uh, well, uh, the uh, Keen Observer will note that I uh, don't feel very much here. I'm actually kind of backing on uh, being able to get through this without having to heal. And then end up resting back at the base. Oh, and I get an encounter right at the exit. Hmm. 
right, and now I... Uh, uh, now I... Yeah, see, the... Uh, menu graphics, or whatever you want to call it, that we get during the uh, fights, it is... Um, okay, stop going up. Yeah, we are responsible adults, us. Uh, yeah, what I want to say was that the uh, screens there in the uh, fight with the uh, w with your party's HP and, and all that stuff. Um, I forgot that Final Fantasy IX looks a lot like that. We'll get to that when we, well, when I get to Final Fantasy VII. Uh, nine thing. <laughs> numbers. Stand clear. We are standing clear. Like there's <laughs> nothing to do. Although I don't think it was necessary to make such a big explosion for um, this purpose. Yeah, Biggs, you are so very funny. Much comedic. I don't know if that's what the cloud wanted to talk about, but okay. Conspicuous lady in conspicuously uh, colorful outfit. Um, yeah, I know I'm kind of uh, setting myself up for completely failing to not date Ares later, but uh, I'm gonna play this game the way I want to. Yeah, that is a point. We rarely see flowers in the city like Midgar. A gill, huh? Yeah. I think I'll spare a gill for a flower. Sure. Thank you. So, the main question then do I give that flower to Tifa or to Marlene? Uh, spoiler alert, I'm going to give it to Tifa. I don't feel right about giving that to freaking kid. <laughs> I'm, I'm not Japanese, okay? Hmm. So, Avalanche is out and about vandalizing stuff. Oh, wait! I get to this part. At this stage in the game. Okay. Okay. Well, I am healed to full, so that's all good. Let's get some free experience. <laughs> By the way, on that note, uh, I uh, well, earlier today I watched uh, someone uh, let's playing F4. Uh, that is a strategy uh, game. Uh, some uh, occasional similarities to Shining Force. Uh, I secretly think uh, Shining Force is actually. Uh, uh, a simplified. Uh, kind of. A simplified game idea based on Fire Emblem, so they had an eye on Fire Emblem when they developed Shining Force. Uh, but the point is that uh, they got to the point where they uh, just. Well, where they. where a lot of enemies appeared on the map. And uh, someone is sarcastically saying, uh, gee, there are, there are so many enemies, what did we do? And, uh, <laughs> and the other guy said, well, we get experience, of course. <laughs> uh, such a human thing to do. Have a good rapport, those two, by the way. But 
we are playing Final Fantasy VII. That is this necessary at all? Hmm. Although I did not expect it to be this easy. Hey guys. Watch me do the animation aliens. Sorry about that. The, uh, the translation is really good. And I have to say, the, uh, the remade models, they strike a good balance between uh, added polygons and uh, staying faithful to the uh, old style. Uh, so Oh, I like what I see. I mean, higher detail without uh, uh, doing the Final Fantasy VI real release on PC. So yeah, Ara in the house, spiky hair, big ass sword, and all. Fucking duck. Cloud is such an ass in the beginning of this game. He's an absolute asshole. Most of adults blowing shit up. Uh, what were you rubbing, though, then, lady? Because your hand was nowhere near my face. Uh, yeah, I'm being childish. short on time here, so I'll just uh, try to get by this uh, reasonably quickly. I mean, it's almost on uh, 70 points, but that's just... Um, well, that's just how I play the game. Yeah, that's us. Um, <laughs> yeah. I wonder though, is that actually Barrett or is that Teeth I'm being the calculating leader?
Okay, so they changed it to high tech stuff instead of flashy stuff. Okay. Good on your retranslators. Very good. Um, you know, based on uh, what we will see when we get to the pillars later on, that is inaccurate. like at least 150 meters well maybe that makes more sense if you live in Japan um, or the uh, major cities there but to me, this just sounds bizarre. That's not subtle at all. Uh, for the record, I think this is another one, uh, uh, well, another design thing that uh, a sort of um, comes from the uh, Super Nintendo era uh, game design. I mean. Uh, if they did something like this in a, in a modern train, people would get pretty pissed. <laughs> so, big disturbance. Also, uh, people would know if, <laughs> if uh, uh, there was a problem with their identity before uh, the guards were on site. That is fair. What Cloud just said implies he actually has feelings about things. And uh, he's been trying very hard to suggest that he does not. Hmm. I wonder if they still would have this pool in the vocabulary. Uh, well, I mean, if you don't know what, what a cesspool is, uh, consider not looking that up. Let's say it's freaking unpleasant and uh, and um, it comes from uh, medieval castles, I think. Yeah, very old school thing, anyway. Yeah, this uh, sub theme <laughs> of the game is uh, uh, really highly relevant today. Yeah, why don't people just move? Um, capitalists who want uh, <laughs> uh, market control. Uh, housing fees? Take note. Because Barrett speaks the truth. Mm, we changed that uh, symbolic line now. 
or iconic, I guess it is. We'll see if they retain that uh, over at the high cliff when we get to disc uh, three, is it? No, no, it's disc two. Okay, well, it's getting time to find a save point. Yeah, you guys are so very subtle. And you are not even the slightest bit uh, suspicious at uh, how we... Uh, moved when we got off the train. You are um, a very special guard. Okay, so I wonder, can we still do this? I mean, if I get into a fight here, that is pretty much it, so... Well, anyway, it's late in the episode, let's just uh, ignore all that and move on. Hello, guys. And we have a save point. That is it for this episode. See you back soonish for the next one, where we will meet Tifa and... Uh... uh dude... Don't... You're having problems pissing, aren't you? Uh, yeah, we're... Whatever. Episode ends.